In this video we're going to export a database file uh, using Flywheel Local and WPCLI and Flywheel Local SSH. All these tools are provided by Flywheel Local so if you've got Flywheel Local installed on your computer and running then uh, you shouldn't have any problems doing anything in this in this video. Uh, so let's just launch straight into it. Uh, so if I go right click on my site here Sato and I open site SSH we see okay so we get taken here now before we go any further I'll just clean up this a bit here all right so if I go local sites so this is my actual local computer this is um, my local file structure and this directory here is where flywheel local installs all your sites so if we go ls we see all my sites are here just the same as as their listings here so now this window here is the ssh window so this is the virtual machine that flywheel has created for me and if i go ls here you'll notice that uh, if I go into Sato, that the directories are the same, or they, or there's a few more directories in 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 this. Um, there's a few more directories in this virtual machine, but we still have the app directory, which is the our main directory that we need. So if we go app public, and then ls. So this is our WordPress uh, website. And same with uh, over in, the, in this window here for the app public ls. This is our WordPress website here. Okay, so now uh, to export the database using WPCLI. So I can. So this is cool because uh, you don't have to install WPCLI, it's already installed. So if I just go WP DB export, it will export the SATO database for me. So if I go LS, we should see a new uh, database file here, or we should see this database file there. And there it is there. So I've got that file, that's great. And I can also access that from this location too. So that's cool. Uh, so if I were to go back to my Flywheel Local here, I could, uh, so if I wanted to import it into this test website here, I could go to database and then open up AdMiner. Open up no, data, no database tables in here at the moment. So I'll just refresh that, make sure. Okay, so let's import that to let's import our database from Sato to the test one to the test install uh, so we can do that by just uh, importing it through AdMiner import choose uh, so we're in test that's great test and Data, what file were we looking for? So we're looking in, we need to be looking in Sato actually, not not test. Sato app public. Alright, if I search by date, then we'll get the access to the latest one. So 211. So I can import that there. Uh, execute. fairly big database so we'll take a little bit of time okay so that imported and um, let's inspect the what the data that's been imported uh, I always like to check the site URL so here on our test.local we see the site URL is sato.local so we're gonna have to do a search and replace on that 
uh, database um, on this database to fix that up. Uh, otherwise, whenever we visit test.local, we'll get re redirected to sato.local. Another thing to take note of is the database prefix here that we've, we've inputted the database and the prefix isn't wp underscore, it's uh, something different. So we'll need to inspect the, uh, the config file, the wp config file uh, for the test website to make sure that it matches the prefix that we've just imported into the database. So if I go back to my local sites, cd test app public, and then we go open the wp config file and look at the prefix. So here we're still referencing wp, which isn't good. So S for T zero. S for T zero. Okay, so now, now we need to do the search and replace on the test. On the test database. Uh, and we'll use the WP CLI tool through the flywheel local SSH. WP search dash replace sato uh, dot local test dot local okay. So that made a lot of changes there throughout the whole database. Any occurrence of sato.local was changed to test.local. Let's go back to AdMiner and give it a refresh. Okay, so, and now we can see the address there has changed to test.local.